All right, so this is how you create the uh, template if you're doing the emphasis paintings analog style. Um, first, you have to start with the uh, illustration board that you're going to be painting on. Um, as you can see, this is kind of a leftover piece of a larger 15 by 20 illustration board uh, that was probably used by somebody like me uh, to make one of the 15 by 5 uh, boards <clears throat> for your windows for the, uh, the grayscale. So I already cut it up so you don't have to worry about that. But basically you're going to cut off a 5 by 15 piece so you don't need that anymore. And you're going to be working on two different 7.5 by 10 pieces of illustration board. One will be one version of your emphasis painting and the other will be the other version of the emphasis painting. In order to do this, what you need to do is have all four of your, oops, let me turn that upside down. You need to have all four of your analog um, figure ground, uh, emphasis, ambiguity, high, I'm sorry, ambiguity, hierarchy, <laughs> um, grouping and continuity. You need to have each of those four. Okay. And I'm going to start off with the, um, hierarchy because it's frankly the simplest one to do. And this is what you need to do. So you're going to have all four of these. These are just printouts, but you're going to have the actual analog, uh, version that you've made for me, uh, using Sharpies. So here's the original. Let me move the boards out of the way. And you're going to do a graphite transfer. Here is how you do it. You take your tracing paper, which is in your kit, and you'll take out four sheets of it. And you just put the tracing paper over your design, your original figure ground hierarchy. And then just take Sharpie. And you don't even have to do this precisely. Okay? Like you don't need to use a ruler like I wanted you to do for the, uh, uh, for the final. So I'm just going to draw, I'm just going to trace the outline of all the shapes here okay. with the Sharpie. Like that. And you can see it isn't perfect. I didn't draw it like exactly, you know, it didn't meet the lines perfectly, but it's close. And what you're going to do is do this for all four of your figure ground finals. And you're going to transfer each of them on top of one another onto the illustration board using graphite transfer. And this is how you do graphite transfer. So you've drawn, you know, with the Sharpie on top. You don't need this anymore. And what you want to do is flip it over okay, and use a pencil. Um, I'm just using a, a 6B. Any pencil's okay. It should be kind of soft. It should be like a B pencil or something like that. Um, as you, I uh, will zoom in here uh, as close as I can. So that you see the point. Um, I don't know what you guys do in your drawing class, but there, uh, I usually take a knife. Uh, usually it is my um, utility knife. And I will whittle down the lead until it's really, really big like this. This enables me to, you know, do nice thick drawings like this. And I, again, I don't know what you do for your drawing class, but normally they make you they made me, uh, you know, use it for various types of, you know, you can draw with your thumb, you know, you're, you're doing things like this. But all you need to do is cover up the part, okay, of the drawing. And I'll put this under white so you can see more clearly. Okay. Um, you don't need to put graphite all over the entire back of the tracing paper. You just need to put it on the part where the lines are. That's all you need to do. like that. So you're pretty much ready to go. Then what you do is you flip it over, you line it up on the paper, and of course the illustration board is smaller than the tracing paper, so it'll go off the edge. That's okay. Again, this is about being able to create an abstract design for your emphasis piece that's based on your original figure ground assignment, so it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. What you do want to do is use your um, artist tape here, this stuff, uh, just to tape down the um, lightly, tape down the tracing paper just so it doesn't move when you're doing the uh, transfer. So I'm just taping it down okay. like that. So, so that way it won't move around. Okay. So you got tape in all the corners. Um, and then just take a pen and draw over the lines that you drew earlier. Because okay. you want to press down a little bit harder than you can with a soft tip Sharpie pen. 
I'm just drawing, following the outlines. And then just remove it. And ta-da, there you see. You have your design in a graphite transfer. Then you just do that with each of the four to save you time. <laughs> I, pre I prepped everything so I can do it quickly. But uh, there we go. So here's one for, let's say this is my grouping design. So I'm going to put my grouping piece over like this. Again, you want to tape it down so it doesn't slide around. Only takes a second. Yeah, I already prepped these by tracing the shapes. And you'll notice I'm not obviously tracing every single shape. You guys are doing this analog. It would be insane to, you know, do every single shape and, and have you, you know, do all of you know these different shapes it's crazy i will make haha -ha, the digital people have to do that because frankly if you're working digitally you can do it really really fast so i'm uh you will still get the not exactly the same but you will still get similar results you'll still have a great template to work with so there's that one That one didn't transfer quite as well. Let me do a little bit harder. Make sure I press down hard enough there. That's a little bit better. Just want to be able to make sure that you can see all the lines because it, it's in the overlaps where you're going to create your large and small shapes. And if you need to, you know, if you think it's helpful um, that it's not transferring that well, you can either go back in again, you know, and add more of the pencil, or like I'm doing, if you just want to do it with a pen, you know, just draw it this way. Like, oh, that didn't work so good. Um, you know, just draw it in that way. Again, you're just trying to set up this basic template. Here is one that was based on the continuity final. And because I'm like, now that one didn't quite transfer so well. I just want to redo some of it here. Oh, also, um, even though technically it is not a functioning part of the composition, make sure you do the line that goes down the middle too. And transfer that. You can see this one goes off the edge a little bit, but that's all right. Because it's a demo, I'm doing it more quickly than I would want you to. Go a little slower, take your time. But it should still be pretty effective. Let's see how that looked. There, that's better. And then the last one was ambiguity. Okay, so I've got my ambiguity one here. Again, I'm just going to give it a little extra. It's nice, and nice solid lines. And it, again, you don't have to do it over the entire piece of tracing paper, just where the outlines of the original figure ground assignments were, like that. Let's see. And you can change it if you want to, like, hmm, which way would look best? You know, um, add yeah, about pretty similar. Um, I'm going to go with this one, okay, tape it down, and then we're all done. So it's a pretty quick process. The painting, of course, is the difficult part because uh, you have to make decisions about where your uh, small shapes of emphasis will be. 
whether they are dark on a light ground or light on a dark ground, and how to handle that ground and how to make all the values really, really similar. Um, that's the hard part, but this is pretty easy. This doesn't take too long. I have a very uh, heavy hand, meaning I press down really hard on pens and pencils all the time, which is why I never use mechanical pencils, um, because basically I just break them. You know, so some of you might have a lighter hand, and you, you know, might need to press down uh, a little harder to get the transfer to be effective. Um, I actually sometimes, when I'm doing it, especially the demo, I will press down so hard that I will tear through the uh, uh, this stuff. You know, because you know, it's really easy to tear through. So it's pretty delicate, like I just did right there. Uh, but so what? It's like, it doesn't matter. You can just um, draw it, like I said, with a pen. In the gap. There. So now you've got this really crazy, you know, I'm going to fill in some gaps up here. You know, take these things off the edge. You know, just to make it nice and clean. Take that one off the edge. And now I'm, I'm done. And now what happens is I have a wonderful, complex design. Now, um, you're going to need to do this for both, okay? You need to do this twice. So they need to be the same exact composition. So everything I just did, you're going to do it again on the second board, okay? So you do probably, the second time you do this, want to do what I did in the demo, is add some more graphite back to the back of the, uh, of the tracing paper so it'll come through clearly again. So you're going to have two compositions that look like this. And you can see right away that you're going to need the decisions about small shapes being the focus. And this overlapping creates many opportunities for that. For example, I've got like, you know, the, here, here are a small shape. Here's a small shape. You know, here's one. Here's one. Here, yeah, you have many small shapes to choose from. You even have some that are so small you can put them together like here's one, here's another, you know, that you can use as possible focal figure ground elements for the emphasis painting. So you have to do this twice so that you have two different boards with exactly the same design. And in each of these, you are going to paint a different series of emphasis and focus designs on both. Um, and we'll talk, you know, we'll all elaborate that in the lecture. This is really not the lecture for the entire assignment, just how to lay out the template for the basic composition using your original four figure ground assignments. I think that should be pretty clear. So see, pretty simple, uh, very straightforward, doesn't take long. Um, obviously, like I said, the, the painting takes long. You know, that's the part that's going to take you a little bit longer. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, so that's the end of the demo. And we'll, uh, if you have any questions, just email me. Thanks.